Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to the session, Strengthening Container Security, a collaborated way between Vietnami and uh, Notary Project. So my name is, my name is Yi. I'm currently product manager at Microsoft. I'm now focusing on cloud native security and the ecosystem. I'm also the maintainer of Notary Project. Uh, unfortunately, today my co-speaker, Beltran, he couldn't come to Hong Kong, but he prepared a pre-recorded video I will play during the session. So Beltran is a senior engineer manager at Wivel, at Wivel Tenzu, and he has been spending over 16 years in the Vietnami project. So today I will begin with the backgrounds, that's the collaboration between Vietnami project and uh, uh, the notary project. And uh, then I will share Vietnamese best practice by playing the uh, video that uh, Bertram prepared. Then I will give you uh, uh, this introduction about the core capability that uh, utilized uh, by Vietnami best practice. After that, I will perform a demonstration which will work through with you an end-to-end -end flow about how to build and deploy application security. Then I will uh, share some takeaways and wrap up with the Q&A. Okay, let's get started. So the background, as you see on the screen, the model application architecture, uh, normally it consists many software and those software are interconnected and those software could from different vendors or different open source projects. And the line illustrates that uh, the, the dependency between this uh, software. You can see we have dependencies to build and run application and these dependencies will also depend on other dependencies. So to build and run a modern application, we need a very solid software supply chain. As you may know that uh, nowadays, uh, the attacks on the software supply chain has been increasing dramatically. So it is very critical to trust the software that we are using for our applications. So in the context of cloud native, so it is the content images that we need to trust to build our containerized application. So there are actually three questions that we need to address. The first one is how can we trust the images are from trusted sources? The second question is how can I ensure the images are not modified during distribution? The third question is that how can I ensure images are distributed securely across registries, even within a multi-cloud environment. So let's see how Vietnami tackle these questions. I will play the recorded video. Hi everyone, Beltran here, Senior Director of the Vietnami Project as part of VMware and Broadcom. The mission of the Vietnami Project is to make open source software available for anyone in any format. We are working since more than 15 years to make it easy to deploy and to maintain hundreds of apps. With that goal in mind, Binami continues providing virtual machines, cloud images for AWS, Azure, Google, among others. Those images are easy to use and you can deploy with one click. Focusing on cloud native formats, the Binami project also provides more than 250 containers and more than 120 helm charts ready to use. These containers and helm charts have been built and verified in multiple Kubernetes environments and versions. For example, OpenShift, TKE, GKE, EKS, but also, uh, but also other environments like FIP compliance environment or IREGAP environments. The Vinami automation makes it possible to provide all those applications and keep them up to date for users. The Vinami catalog is open source and the code is available in GitHub and the containers and hand charts in Docker Hub. 
But why we say it is a trusted catalog? How users can trust the content that Binami provides? One of the main values that Binami provides is you can find a large catalog of popular applications that just work. And we did it over the years. Users trust on the Binami to provide those latest versions and get software, software up to date. We have the automation to detect new versions applications, build the binaries from source, package the artifacts, whatever it is, containers, hand charts, virtual machines, make sure they don't include CVEs, malware, and verify multiple environments. All this automation is transparent for their users, and it should be. They just want something easy to deploy into their system. And, and just works. But how we can give the mechanism to users that they can trust a specific built image or hand chart come from Inami and no other? How they can be sure they have not been modified by anyone? The signing step is crucial to provide that trust. Signing the containers and hand chart adds the warranty for users that comes from the Binami provider. That the station also provides more information of the software supply chain that built that artifact. The notary project provides the signing mechanism for ensure the content provided by Binami and it has not been modified, and also the tooling for users to verify the signatures. This can be manually done or can be easily to automate, as we will see in the demo later. The Binami project provides the full catalog in Docker Hub, and those images are signed with the notation tool. Currently, Docker Hub requires to push the signature as OCI as well, and you will see those SHA in the UI. The Tanso application catalog, or TAC, is the commercial version of Binami, and we provide more documents there. For example, we provide bill of material, SBOMs, we provide VEX documents to reduce the CVE noise. We provide the in-total attestation documents that you can verify all the software supply change. CVE scan, scan, antivirus scan, all those documents can be built into an OCI images and can be signed by notation. Those are delivered to the customer registries. For having a trust, trustable catalog, we should empower the users to verify all the deliverables on their own. We will see later how you can leverage the Binamic catalog and to use the notary project for building, customizing and signing your own images. Those are the reasons why the notary project is key for the Binamic goals and for the users. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I will skip this. Okay, so actually, uh, Bitnami addressed this um, problem by providing a trusted catalog. And one of the core capability that Bitnami project used is to use the open source project, notary project, to sign container images. And the mission of the open uh, notary project is to safeguard the software supply chain using authentic container images and artifacts. So Notary Project is the answer for the two questions that I asked before. One, the, by using Notary Project, we ensure the authenticity and the integrity. And, and you can see on the screen that we already, from the Notary Project, there are major uh, cloud providers uh, adopt Notary Project solutions, such as AWS, Azure, Alibaba, and also popular open source projects. Another core capabilities that Bitnami project utilized is to comply with the OCI specification. For those who are not familiar with the OCI specification, OCI stands for the Open Container Initiative. It uh, defines the specifications for store and uh, distribute any content using OCI complying the registries. And OCI, by complying to the OCI specification, we have the answer to the third question. So that when you sign containing images, 
or populate any other attestations for these container images. The signatures and the attestations can be stored with the corresponding container image together and distributed across OCI registry and even within multi-cloud environments. And you can see on the screen that we already have a major vendors compliance with uh, um, OCI standards, such as AWS, um, Docker, Azure, and Geofork, um, Hubble. And we also have the tools for us. It's a uh, CNCF sandbox project can be used for managing the artifacts stored in the OCI registry. With that, I will give you an end-to-end -end demo. So the purpose of the demo is that I will give you, um, show you how to build and distribute your container rise the application security. And now I will play a role as a DevOps engineer. I will start to build my application from scratch and in the end deploy to Kubernetes. So first of all, I need to acquire the base images which are produced by Bitnami. So on the Docker Hub, I search Bitnami Nginx. And on this page, you will find introduction and a guideline that this image was signed by notation, the tool that the Notary project provided, And you can find the instructions on how to verify the images that, that are signed with notation tool. Okay, so in this uh, demo, I just uh, select one version of NGX 1.27. And you can see the digest of the images, and this image is actually a multi arc images. Okay, this is my GitHub repo. I already have one package. It's an example image. And uh, in my source code, I have the source and also um, ham charts. And we have uh, GitHub actions. The first workflow of the GitHub actions is to uh, acquire the base images, Bitnami Nginx. And you can see we have a source and a target. And I, uh, in this workflow, log into the GitHub container registry. Okay, then I will enable this workflow. Let's see some details of the workflow. Okay, you see in the environment, I acquire image from Docker, published by Bitnami, and acquired and stored in my GitHub container registry. And I use notation tool to validate the um, image according to Bitnami's instructions, and you can see successfully. Then I copy the images with the signature together to my GitHub repo. Then I refresh my packages. You can see I acquired Bitnami NGX successfully. The same tag about the version. And if you remember the digest, it is the same from the Docker Hub. And it's a multi arc images. And go back to my GitHub packages, you can see it's also multi arc copied from Docker Hub to the GitHub registry. Okay, let's see from another view about the. Um, 
using the two auras to discover the images that I acquired to my GitHub repository, the Bitnami NGX images, to see any signatures. You can see we have one signature. The signature type is not a project signature, and with this digest of the signature manifest. Then I will do the same thing to acquire the utility images. So normally when you build an application, you will require some base images that you will add on top of your uh, own business logic, and also you will use some utility images that will be deployed at the runtime. This in utility image could be the, for example, Prometheus images for monitoring. And this time I use the Bitnami Fluent D as the um, utility images for aggregating the logs for my application. So similarly, as the base images, I verify the signature of the utility images according to Bitnami's instruction, and then I copy it to my GitHub registry. Okay, now you can see I have both base images and the new utility image copied to my GitHub registry. So similarly, let's use Aura's tool to discover, to see whether any images, uh, signatures are associated with these uh, utility images. Okay, now I have the base images and the utility images. I will start to build my application. Yeah, it's a very simple application. I use base images and I add very simple logic to my base images. And I have this GitHub workflow. I run the workflow. Okay, it actually contains several steps. So firstly, I need to, before I build my app, I will validate the signatures of the images that I acquired and stored in the GitHub registry to avoid any potential risk for using this image. You can see the images I used is from my GitHub registry. Yeah, I use the notation tool to verify the signatures. I build my app and also store it in my GitHub registry. And after that, it is very important that I sign my app. Using notation tool, I successfully sign my application images. So after that, I should see my application are now stored in GitHub registry, and uh, currently I'm demo that I store in a developer registry before publishing to production. Now let's discover whether any signature successfully generated for my application stored in the dev environment. Okay, after testing my application in the dev environment, I promote images to my production. So I still use the GitHub registry to simulate a production registry. I run this workflow. Yeah, I use Aura's tool to copy any signatures and also the multi other images that are associated with my application image. And also the utility images which I need to deploy um, to the Kubernetes, so I also copy it to the production after replication. Then you can see the namespace changed to product, which I simulated the production registry.
Okay, let's check whether any signatures also moved from the dev environment to the production registry. You can see we have the same notary project signature. This is for my app, this is for the utility image. Okay, I have everything, my app and utility images stored in production with signatures. Now let's deploy this image to Kubernetes. Okay, we don't have any deployment yet. Then I trigger the workflow. Okay, successful. Then let's check whether any deployment. Okay, I successfully deploy my app to Kubernetes. And let's de describe the deployment. Yeah, the what we want to check is that you can see the image is actually from my production registry. And actually, I have a policy set up in my Kubernetes. So the policy allows that images should be signed by Bitdami and deploy. So what if I have some images not signed? What will happen? So this is uh, the image, uh, my application I just deployed. Okay, this is another example. Images that were not signed. You can see there's no signature just the image with its digest. I try to deploy these images with this example command. You can see the deployment was denied because I have set up my policy. So I use another open source tool, Ratify, with Gatekeeper together to set up the admission policy for um, allowing only signed images can be deployed on my cluster. Okay, so that's the demo. So I just showed that an end-to-end -end flow that you can utilize for uh, acquiring the base images, utility images, security, and you can also build those, build your application images security, and after that, you sign your application images to ensure those images are published by you. And after that, I demoed the uh, deployment to the Kubernetes so that you can see with the policies that have you, you can ensure that only trusted images can be deployed on Kubernetes. Some key takeaways. So first, authenticity and integrity are essential for strengthening container security. security. So make sure you sign container images after you, before you publish your um, applications to your production. Another takeaway is that make sure to validate images before you're using them. It could be in your pipeline to use images for building your application. It could be on Kubernetes before deployment, you validate the images are trusted. So is this enough? We have a fourth question. How can I ensure images do not contain vulnerabilities and non-compliant software? Maybe some of you already have the answer, so um, this will not be addressed by this session, so if you are interested in it, please come to me and we can discuss. Okay, I, I think that's all for my presentation. Thank you. Now we can have uh, some questions. Any question from anyone? Because Bertrand didn't come today, so if you have any 
questions that you want to ask uh, Bitnami or you want to know deeper how Bitnami utilize different uh, tools in their pipeline for automation, feel free to contact Bertrand on Slack or drop a mail to him. Yes, please. Sorry, I cannot hear. But we don't don't have a mic today, so maybe you can try to speak louder. Sorry about that. from the root of the trust. So in, in this session, I demo the, sorry, <laughs> I use this mic. So your question is about how can I trust the, the images by, by someone I, someone else? Yes, so firstly, you need to, for example, have some basic trust. So that you can, for example, in, in my case, Bitnami is a very large publisher in the, for example, in Docker, and they have also big company backup their solutions. So if I trust this wonder, then I will trust anything they published. But during, when I use these images from my publisher, I need to verify these images are really coming from the publisher and also during distribution, I need to make sure uh, those images are not modified. So with that, um, in, for another project, we established this uh, trust using the PKI infrastructure, this well-established infrastructure. So I have the root certificates from Bitnami, and I can find, um, try to verify the images that Bitnami used with their identity. So those information will be provided by image signer or image publisher that you trust. So I'm not sure whether I answered your questions. So of course someone else, maybe um, some random people sign some images. I don't think you need to trust that. Thank you. Any other questions? Any more questions? Okay, if no more question, we have a, another project booth. So if you have further questions or you want to um, try some hands-on and also access the, the demo, the GitHub uh, action workflow that I provided for free to come to me and also come to the notary project booth. Thanks everyone, have a nice day, bye.